The next Seven Star Terror Raid event has been announced in Pokemon Skull and Violet. In today's video, I'm going to go through my best builds for you to take this Terror Raid event on. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So the next Seven Star Terror Raid event has been announced and it will be commencing on the 30th of December. So we've got a little bit of time to prepare our Pokemon before this event actually starts. It's all going to be centered around Cinderace and it will have the Fighting Terror type. Now the Cinderace, I do feel, will be a little different to the Charizard that we took on in that last seven star raid event. Cinderace is a pure fighting type but it has got the fighting terror type and it also has the hidden ability which we're assuming it's going to have in this event as Librero. Now for those of you aware of Librero from Pokemon Sword and Shield where this ability was first introduced it has had a mechanical update going into Scarlet and Violet. If we hop over to Cerebi here we can see the updated ability changes and prior to coming into Scarlet and Violet Librero would activate every single turn so if Cinderace used Iron Head, that turn it would turn into a Steel type. If it used Sucker Punch the next turn, it would then turn into a Dark type, and so on and so on, depending on the type of move that it used. But now coming into Scarlet and Violet, we can see it's been updated. Changes the Pokemon's type to the type of move it's about to use. This works only once each time the Pokemon enters the battle. Only activates the first time it uses a move after switching in. So it can only be used once per battle. It cannot activate again and again and again. So we're safe in knowing that once Cinderace goes into battle, even if Librero can activate with Terra Typing, which we aren't certain of yet, we'll have to wait until this event actually takes place worst thing that can happen from this is that it can only change its type once per battle and from there we can kind of adapt and get a better game plan going forward so going based off all of the information from the charizard raid event cinderace we know will be level 100 it's likely to have that librero ability but we don't quite know how it's going to interact with the terrestrialization mechanic and it will have the fighting terror type it's going to have a max speed at level 100 with 252 evs in speed of 370 so you can use this number to gauge your own pokemon speed stat if you are building a custom pokemon go up again Against this Cinderace. The move options that I've highlighted, and these are the most likely moves that it will use in this battle, are going to be Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Terror Blast. It may have other options like Giga Impact as well. You've got to remember that Charizard from the first seven star raid had eight moves in total, four initial moves, and it had four additional moves that it could use throughout the battle. So it's likely that Cinderace will have the same sort of options as well. The setup options that Cinderace can have are going to be Sword Stance, Bulk Up. It can have Will-O-Wisp as well, which could disrupt physical attackers if you are using them. And also Court Change, which swaps the stat changes between Cinderace and whatever is on the other side of the field i.e your pokemon so if you've bulked up or belly drummed it's something you're going to have to watch out for obviously nothing at the minute has been confirmed for moves that cinderace will be using but this just gives you an idea of some of the stronger options that it's got available going into this terror raid so based on the information that we know about the move pool that cinderace has got its ability and its terror type we can safely put together quite a few pokemon in preparation for this seven star raid and what pokemon will work well against this particular event then the first Pokemon, and probably one of my favorites, I think is gonna be Armor Rouge. It is fire and psychic. It does have the ability Flash Fire as well, which just discounts any use of Cinderace using any big, powerful fire type attacks against you. And if it does, it's just boosting your offensive output anyway. So that is a really good option. We know Cinderace is an extremely fast Pokemon. So I've opted on this set to go for actually a Trick Room mode because I think turn one, it's safe to say you can click that Trick Room quite safely even if cinderace has sucker punch it kind of baits out cinderace using this sucker punch which will fail because it's used on a status move which is trick room and then it sits the speed conditions up in your favor then it will allow you to get a reflect up and then you can start calm minding up after this and then start attacking it with psychic once you are set up after you've got maybe two or three calm minds up you can start going after the cinderace so with the psychic terror type as well it means that you're going to be resistant to any sort of of fighting type attacks that come out and you're also going to be immune to any fire type attacks that could come out from Cinderace as well because of that flash fire ability. Now the only thing that Amarouge doesn't really have is a good way of recovery so we have put the shell bell on it so at least you've got a method to recover health 
when you set up, you're going to be reducing damage with the Reflect and boosting your output with Calm Mind. And then with the Psychics, you're going to be hitting super effectively on that fighting type that Cinderace is. And then you'll also be healing up through the Shell Bell. So I really feel like Armor Rouge is going to be probably one of the more consistent options going into this Terror Raid Den. And like we looked at with the move options with Cinderace, you can see there's not really too much here that threatens you other than the Sucker Punch. You're going to be immune to Pyro Ball because you have Flash Fire. The high jump kick, you're going to resist that because of your psychic typing. And when you terrestrialize, you're going to still resist that. The iron head, if you're not terrestrialized, you will resist that through your fire typing anyway. The sucker punch, you can get around by just using status or setup moves. And the terror blast, again, you're going to resist that because it will be fighting. So there isn't really too much there that you're going to have to worry about in respect of using armor rouge against the Cinderace in particular. So the next Pokemon we're going to look at is the Charizard. Yes, we've just had the seven star Charizard raid event finish, but we are actually going to take this Pokemon in particular into the new event den against the Cinderace. It is going to have the advantage with its flying type over the fighting type that Cinderace will be. So you're going to be able to hit it for very good damage. Now we've given the Citrus Berry for one good reason, because we are going to be using Belly Drum on this Charizard. So the, the premise of the idea of the set is to Belly Drum turn one, activate that citrus berry that we've got attached to it and then by losing your item you're going to get double damage on the acrobatics turning from base 55 base power to 110 base power meaning you're going to be doing absolutely ridiculous amounts of damage to the cinderace which is going to be weak to these flying type attacks because of its fighting terror type the other moves on charizard are a little bit filler you've got fire punch and dragon claw as options on there unfortunately the one drawback with charizard in this format is at the moment does doesn't have access to roost which it has had in previous generations the terror typing i did have to change i had to give it the flying terror type just to give it that boost when you're terrestrialized obviously the resist as well to fighting type attacks will help you out a bunch I think with this Charizard, you're going to have to really rely a lot on your cheers. Make sure that you are healed up in good spots in the game so you're not losing it after you have Belly Drum to make the most of this move. The EV spread that we've went for, again, just to prolong longevity, is just maxed out HP and then we've maxed out attack as well and give it an adamant nature. We have went for nothing flash with its ability, just give it the Blaze one because solar power doesn't really help us out in this particular build. So Blaze makes a lot more sense if you want want to have any sort of means of relying on the ability at all. So the Charizard I think is a really interesting option. It of course resists a bunch of the moves that can be thrown out from the Cinderace. Again, if we look at the options that it's got, the Pyro Ball you'll resist, High Jump Kick you'll resist, Iron Head you'll resist, Sucker Punch is neutral, Terror Bast you'll resist. So, you know, the, a lot of the options that that Cinderace does have access to, Charizard is going to be able to take pretty well and then fire back with big powerful acrobatics that's boosted by losing your item and also that Belly Drum as well. Now the next Pokemon is a really Really interesting one but it sticks on that belly drum route and it is going to be slow brawl i do love slow brawl for a lot of reasons it's a very bulky pokemon but it's typing's perfect to go up against cinderace the fighting terror type is not going to be able to do very much at all to slow brawl because obviously we resist it being a psychic type and all the fire types are resisted as well as long as you're not terrestrialized and you've still got that water typing we've given the leftovers as an option just to keep up with recovery every turn because it's got a, a decent hp stat and we've went for the ev spread of max hp and then max attack as well with an adamant nature which seems super strange for slow brawl because it's normally generically a special attack pokemon but for this build in particular we are going to be going for a physical build and playing off that belly drum which is another option for just setting yourself up very quickly and doing some big damage we're relying on zen headbutt which plays off the psychic terror type as well as its base typing as well and then we've got slack off for a form of recovery meaning that you can just stay on the field as long as you want after that belly drum once you've got that off you're going to be able to just heal off any damage that you've taken and also we've played on trick room as well the one thing that you would say about slow bro is it's an extremely slow pokemon Basically, you're going to want to set up the Trick Room turn one, and then you're going to want a Belly Drum, slack off if you need to, to recover damage, and then just fire off as many Zen Headbutts as you can until you can terrestrialize. And it should be pretty straightforward. If you keep control of the speed conditions as well on the field with the Trick Room when it runs out, make sure you keep an eye on those because it's five turns you get. Once that runs out, just set it up again and then kind of go from there and you're going to have no trouble against this Cinderace. Next Pokemon and 
I'm going to have to mention it, aren't I? Azumarill is a great option as well. Uh, we've given it the Shell Bell as item. We've got the Fairy Terra type going to hit that Fighting type on Cinderace for good damage. Going to resist the Fire type attacks with its Water type in as well. And not really too concerned with any Steel type attacks that it could potentially have like Iron Head. Because with that Water typing, it will just take neutral damage from that. So not really too worried about that overall. Um, it's not too dissimilar from previous builds we've featured on the channel for other raids we've got play rough we've got rain dance on this set belly drum and then misty terrain cinderace has access to will-o-wisp which could be a little bit de detrimental so misty terrain gives you a little bit of support there stops any status conditions on your side of the field and rain dance is primarily there because we, we won't really be relying on any water type attacks for this particular terror raid but when you do terrestrialize into that fairy type, you're going to take neutral damage from those fire type attacks. And if Cinderace has boosted up throughout the previous turns, it can become a little bit of a problem. At least with Rain Dance, you're able to mitigate that damage a little bit. And it's just an extra option. But primarily, you're going to be relying on the Belly Drum and then just smacking it around with Play Rough. Obviously, we've got the huge power on the Azumarill as well. Adamant Nature, 252 HP EVs, 252 attack EVs, and the rest just put into space special defense we've got the shell belt item on there so it's a line of recovery anytime you do do big damage you're going to recover a bunch of hp just means that azumarill it has a lot of staying power on the field which is what you want for a belly drum user and then the final one and one i think will be quite consistent as well but it does depend on how librero activates and interacts with terrestrialization and whether or not Cinderace has access to Iron Head. Now, I would probably say 99% of me thinks that Cinderace is going to have Iron Head to get around the fairy threats that will be coming in this Terror Raid event. So, Fluttermain may be good, but it might not be the optimal choice in this matchup. Again, we've just went with the standard covered clock. You could change the item here because there aren't really too many issues with moves that Cinderace is going to throw out onto you that could cause too many problems. So, covered clock could be changed there. Um, we've got Max HP, max special attack for EVs, um, modest nature, and move set of Calm Mind, Fake Tears, Draining Kiss, and Moonblast, just to make sure you've got two stab attacks for the fighting type weakness that Cinderace has. And it's pretty run of the line. I think Flamin might be a good option, but I don't know if it will be the best one. But these are the builds that I feel like are going to be the best going into this terror raid. I do pick Armor Rouge as my top pick here. I think this one, just because of the fact that it's got Flash Fire, it's going to resist those fighting type attacks as well the only thing that you would need to watch out for is literally sucker punch but you do have so many options outside of just psychic to, and you're not going to be clicking an attack the first turn anyway so it kind of baits out the cinderace using the sucker punch which will fail and then you'll know about it going into the following turn so you set your trick room up set your reflect up and then set those calm minds up before you actually start attacking and by the time you do attack as long as cinderace hasn't got something like sword stance or bulk up you're going to be in a good position to not really worry about the sucker punch anyway and get some big damage off and, and overcome this event pretty easily so they are the five builds that i've put together for this particular terror raid event i'll still be putting ideas together and of course these might change once the terror raid event goes live we'll be covering all of the details on it of course here on the channel so stay tuned and updated make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any other content coverage of this event Hope you found this video useful, friends. If you have, please drop a like on the video and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on what you will be preparing for this event and what you think will be the best options going into it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all for another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care. Bye-bye.